Hey, it's the Insane Gamers, and welcome back to another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle. Today, I'm fighting another one of my subscribers, and you can check out the link in the description to look at her channel. This battle was freaking hilarious, and as all of you may notice by my team preview, maybe you didn't notice it yet, but I'm bringing back an old favorite Pokemon of mine. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, debut battle, she is back. That's all I'm saying. So, uh, out comes the Zebstrika, and that's a Pokemon I really like using. Zebstrika is really cool. I think it looks awesome. I've got a shiny one, you know, shiny Zebstrika, like slightly purple, like very slightly purple. <laughs> I don't know. It's a legit one, though, because I misuited it. It took, like, you know, I got it in, like, less than 100 eggs, and then I tried to get a shiny Rapidash, and it took over a thousand! <sighs> Anyhow, um, yeah, so Zebstrika can't really hurt Cradilly. Cradilly's just basically a monster. It's like a Pokemon I've been vaguely obsessed with lately. I've made out a whole bunch of sets, and I, I'm actually planning on making another Cradilly in addition to this one, so I'm gonna have double the Cradilly death. Um, but anyway, yeah, I love Cradilly. It's just such a such a tankly beast. Anyway, I'm not really afraid of this Gorgeist. Shiny Gorgeist, by the way. Very cool. Very awesome. It's like purple. And by the way, Gorgeist gets Flame Charge. I looked at- I was looking at random Pokemon on Bulbapedia the, the, the other day, I'm like, Gorgeist, let's check you out. Um, it gets Flame Charge, Flamethrower, Fire Blast, all these crazy fire moves. I'm like, wow, this thing's pretty cool, so I've gotta try to figure out a way to use one. But anyway, I get the Toxic on her, the uh, Gorgeist, it gets a burn on me, um, and then I set up the Stealth Rock, so... You know, she's trying to cut into my walling potential with the burn. Doesn't matter too much. I do have the lefties and the recover. And I'm Cradilly. So, yeah, basically, take any attack all day. But um, that Toxic is really going to matter for Gore, guys, since I'm pretty sure, besides Pain Split and Leech Seed, which obviously it can't seed me because I'm a grass type, it doesn't really have any healing moves. So that's that's pretty important. Definitely going to cut into the walling potential of that. But anyway, away goes the Gorgeist. I was really afraid that she was going to switch into Sock. Like, that fighting type pretty much kills half of my team. So I'm very, very afraid of it. Uh, goes into this thing. I guess she really wants to rapid spin the rocks away since she does have a Moltres. And Moltres, as we all know, hates them rocks. Don't like them rocks. Don't like getting pointed sharp stones stuck in its wings, you know, it doesn't let it fly, but I go into Turbo Blaze because, uh, I just did, I don't know why I did, I guess I figured I could get some, um, some, um, Turbo Charge, uh, speed, boosting, whatever, Flame Charge, that's what it's called, it's Flame Charge, Flame Charge is set up, but apparently not, so I just stay in, go for the freaking facade, it does like... 80%, I assume that's an Eviolite, 80% of its health with Facade, ladies and gentlemen. Turbo Blaze, the monster. So, um, this turn I switch it up, I go for Flare Blitz just in case she decides to switch back to Gore Guys to take the Facade, and oh my gosh, look at this damage on a Steelix. That is insane. Gl Guts Flareon is a Pokemon I have been very impressed with, and I am... I'm really happy with how it turned out. Like, it is an absolute monster. But anyway, yeah, Turbo Blaze unfortunately goes down after rampaging there for a little bit. And this Magic Wand is almost dead, so she's probably not going to get to set up her Stealth Rocks or whatever she was going to do with it. So I just send in Kecleon. Protean Kecleon. As soon as I found out this thing got Protean, I knew I had to use it. It is so funny. It is amazing. But anyway, go for the Power Up Punch here. Uh, get my plus one attack, and I've got Life Orb. So, um, Kecleon also get this Kecleon also has Sucker Punch and Shadow Sneak, so it basically just has a bunch of priority. Uh, but, however, even though I'm at plus one, and I will get the Stab Shadow Sneak because of Protean, and I have Life Orb, I'm still not confident I can take out the Gorgeist, because Gorgeist is an extremely physically tanky Pokemon, so I just go back to an enemy, because I'm predicting the Will-O-Wisp. And, um, I know an enemy pretty much can just wall this thing all day, I don't have to worry about it at all, so, um... I guess this turn, I'm just gonna see what she's gonna do. I'm not exactly sure if she wants to switch or not. Might go into Sock this turn, because uh, this would pretty much be the perfect time to bring it in. I mean, Flareon's dead. Um, not that it could outspeed anyway. But she actually stays in Ghost of the Shadow Sneak. I guess, see, you know, scouting for damage. Um, this Cradilly actually has a mixed sort of defensive EV spread. So it, it's it's specially defensive, but it's got a bit of physical investment too. So it can take some non-super effective physical hits really well. In fact, um, I was I, I used it in another battle, which I may or may not upload. Don't know yet. Where it was it was actually tanking really well. But anyway, uh, as you can see, the poison, the burn, they're starting to wear us down. You know, us walls, we don't like that burn. I'm gonna go for the recover this turn. 
because uh, I want to get back up to full health as she switches into the Pokemon I've been fearing most. It's the Sock, ladies and gentlemen. The Lone Sock, right out of the Tumble Dryer. The Sock. Um, yeah, I really don't have anything for this. <laughs> to be brutally honest, fighting types kind of destroy this team. Oh, it's not really a team, it's just random Pokemon I put together. Because, you know, that's basically what I do when I play Pokemon. I like, you know, take more six random Pokemon, put them in a team. But, um, so yeah, I'm a little bit scared of what this thing wants to do. I'm going to switch here into Sigilith. Because I know I can take an unstabbed whatever, and if she does go for a fighting, I'll take that beautifully. And she goes for Poison Jab, which is awesome! That's actually really smart to run on a fighting type, because you can hit incoming fairies, which is, that's a really good idea. But unfortunately for me, she decides to get a crit, which is very mean, and get the poison, which is equally as mean. So now my symbolism's gonna die next turn. So that really sucks. I really wanted to try this thing out, see how powerful it was. I'm choice specs. So... I'm just gonna go for the Psychic, it's Stab, Steelix isn't around anymore to take it, not that it would take it anyway because I have Tinted Lens, but, you know, she sends a Nits, I guess for Death Fodder, maybe she thought I was gonna go for something else, I don't know, probably Death Fodder knowing that Poison is gonna kill me, obviously, and it does, so that's unfortunate, Symbolism did get to taste some blood in this battle, but not as much blood as I would have liked, I wanted it to, like, spill blood everywhere, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, presenting Popsicles, the Licky Licky, she's back! Ladies and gentlemen, Popsicles is back. Um, I, this isn't the exact same Popsicles, um, but this is pretty much a recreation of it. Now, unfortunately, when it was transferred, the name Popsicles got erased. I don't know why that's censored, because, you know, <laughs> Popsicles is a dirty word. But anyway, this thing is an absolute monster, so I know that this Zeb Strike is probably choice specs, and I'm taking those Thunderbolts like an absolute beast. So I go for the Body Slam, don't get the prowess, it's not too big a deal. Uh, she sees she's not getting anywhere, that she's gonna get the heck out of here, because Zeb Strike obviously can't hurt me. Go back to this thing, I suppose try to get the burn on me, or just try to wall my Body Slam. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw up another wish, because uh, in case it wanted to stay in and do more stuff to me, you know, I could get the wish off. So, um, not exactly sure what to do at this point. I can't, this thing totally walls me, uh, but I also can wall it. So I'm just going to go ahead and protect this turn, just to see what it's going to do. And she actually switches out to Sock, and this is the best part of the battle right here. We got Popsicles versus Sock. This is the ultimate showdown. This is where I really get to... <laughs> okay, so <laughs> this is where Popsicles really comes through for me. So, Popsicles is holding the Choppleberry, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show this Sock who the real, who the real Pokemon is here. Who, who is the real Pokemon? Who's the real, got the real fighting spirit? Popsicles, come on, counter it, yeah, mmm, get out of here, Sock, <laughs> oh my god, Popsicles is an absolute monster, that is, that is all that needs to be said, absolute beast right there, <laughs> so, I put the Chuffleberry on it with this team, thinking, since I'm so fighting weak, maybe I'll be able to pull this off against somebody, who knows, so yeah, I've got the counter and the Chuffleberry, and this game, it worked absolutely perfectly, it couldn't have gone better, so Sin's in this, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die to an overheat. I mean, she gets a crit, but I, I, I highly doubt that mattered. It's a specs overheat. I was probably gonna die anyway. I don't have thick fat, although I should, because, you know, Licky Licky is pretty chubby. But anyway, I'm gonna go into Karma the Kecleon again, and um, just go ahead and get set up some power-up punches here. I got max special defense, so I can easily take something from this. But yeah, she's gonna predict that go out to the ghost types. Not really a big deal. It is gonna take a bunch of stealth rocks damage, and it's gonna take a little bit of damage from the poison. So that should allow me to finish it off with the Shadow Sneak, since once again the Shadow Sneak is stabbed thanks to Protean. I mean, Protean is exactly what Kecleon needed to be usable. Because it always sort of sucked. Like, color change is the worst ability ever. It, it, you can... It's so exploitable. But Protean makes Kecleon usable. This is Adamant Max Attack, Life Orb, Kecleon, ladies and gentlemen. And just look at the kind of... 
things you can accomplish with this. I mean, if you get a plus one power-up punch, that's great. But, I mean, it works great just on its own, considering all of its moves are stab, which is so amazing. Which is why uh, Greninja's obviously so good. Anyway, Marty comes back in. I know I can kill that with another Shadow Sneak, so I'm just gonna go for that. And uh, she's only got one more Pokemon left, and that's Moltres. And, of course, it's gonna take half health from the Stealth Rocks. Um, so, I'm hoping Kecleon will be able to pull through for me here. And... What is that name, anyway? Corpeco. I, I don't know. It might be Spanish or something. Um, I don't know. If anybody speaks Spanish, or if anybody speaks whatever the heck language that is, you could please tell me what that means. That would be great, because I've been wondering that. Anyhow, Kecleon's going to go ahead and finish up the Moltres. That was an awesome battle, and I'm really, really happy I got to show off some of these underused Pokemon that I have knocking about, because I really love using them, but I don't get to use them very often, because not very many people are willing to do UU battles. So thanks for the battle. It was awesome, and I will see you guys next time for another one.